Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Aries. Oh yeah! <laughs> All right, let's get some. Oh, somebody's trying to tell me right away that you need to walk away from something here. This 27 that breaks down to a nine, so you're almost at the very end of the cycle that you are in. It looks like. Yeah, we have a man holding a heart here. So you're meant to walk away from somebody or this man holding this heart is supposed to be walking away. And if this is you, Aries, there's somebody you're meant to walk away from. And we have nine again with the four, 45 breaks down to a nine. Whew. So this person might be, ah, there's some indecision here with number eight. Needing to master something. You need to put action to something or resolution to something here. Resolving something. Ooh, you may be the magician and the mirror. So you may do mirror magic or that you um, have self-love with the mirror magic. You stand in front of the mirror and you... You give yourself self-love, that positive affirmations, those positive talks. Yeah, there might be a contract here. So you may need to really have a look at this. There's some indecisions here. What is this? This might be, ah, uh, this has to do with the caring connection with this contract. Somebody might be married here. And the moon of goddess of moon here, wow. So somebody may be very intuitive here with the moon. Wow. But that could also mean that there is something hidden here. A hidden agenda, hidden something. Journey. You may be on your journey right now. There might be secrets about your journey or somebody is trying to stop your journey from coming together. We have seven, five, and six. Well, six, five, and seven, actually, if I go in the right order. <laughs> well, somebody wants a victory here. And there's also here an ending, the world, a cycling ending here. But there needs to be some patience when it comes to this contract, possibly. So I'm just going to put push those crystals out so I have some more room. Go. Okay, there we go. And we have the garden and the gate. So, are you staying or are you going? Look at the posture out there. Greener postures. Are you going to stay home and water your own lawn and your own garden or are you looking at somebody else's greener lawn? You know, looking for that greener grass on the other side. Are you going to stay loyal to your person and stay home and water your own grass so your grass is just as green? Because if you don't put the work into what you already have, it all dies. And you run away to somebody that has that greener grass or you think they do. They always have baggage. They always end up having more baggage because there's usually someone else in their life. <laughs> so we have the number three here with the 30 breaking down to a three. So let's have a look with the tarot. What's going on? Oh, Aries, you are the emperor coming out firsthand. Boom, baby. <laughs> Hello. All right, who is not available. Okay, so why are you coming out in this reading if you're not available, Aries? Let's see. You <laughs> are maybe codependent here or has somebody that is codependent. They're not wanting to bring an offer forward because they know you can probably see right through them. And they may be a, sorry, but they may be a bit of a coward. Maybe you can't talk to women very good. Maybe finding out that they had a child with somebody that it wasn't really their child. Because my third party with the child is in reverse. So that may have 
I've had a scare for this person that maybe they were stepping out with someone else and they may have been told that they were pregnant by the third party and the third party um, maybe was lying about this yeah they were juggling something here trying to adapt to something Ooh. all right do I stay do I go do I leave somebody out in the cold? I'm, I'm not having much luck when it comes to finances. And then the Nine of Swords here is somebody that is learning to cope with something here. What else for this Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here? Yeah, they're independent, satisfied, doing okay for themselves. But they're definitely learning to cope with something. This may have fired them up to do more or do something. This may be somebody from your past. Sorry to say for all those that don't want to hear it. <laughs> yeah, there's some love here from the past here. They're, they want to be free. But they may have a Queen of Wands that's in their energy that's angry here and very domineering, maybe has a temper, maybe is very revengeful to this King of Wands. And this King of Wands, um, it looks like they may have been a couple, uh, a divine couple at one point, but hmm, maybe doesn't believe in tarot, doesn't want to take the risk to take a leap of faith with you they may already be married but somebody is not learning something here or doesn't want to have a change with the tower in reverse so this is mars and energy refu refusing to learn that lesson they have a passionate new beginning or an epiphany about something here and they're coming out of a broken heart it looks like they may have decided to walk away from somebody leave somebody out in the cold but they're still they may be jealous even they may be jealous they don't want you to have an offer for someone else but you can see through this person you may have already known there was someone else in the mix there's an offer of love and somebody changing their perspective here. And the justice is um, in reverse. It's unfair and it's unbalanced here. So something, oh, there's going to be a truth here. Wow, by a king of swords in reverse. And a king of swords in reverse is somebody that's usually not fair, right? So this person's kind of like cold and manipulative and deceptive. So, yeah, they may not want to cooperate or work with you. They may have talked shit about you. This may be somebody's friend to this King of Wands that's going to come in and maybe give you some type of truth about something to try to maybe stop this from going forward. Maybe tells you that this person, um, things didn't work out with you and they talk shit about you gossiped played mind games put you in a competition stabbed you in the back however it resonates and now they want to come running in because maybe you got an offer here by this king of wands this king of swords doesn't want to let you go or doesn't want this to happen they may not be confused anymore about some deception here when it came to love and they know it was a burden maybe to an empress that may have been codependent at the time some sweetheart here they're watching if you are this sweetheart or this empress you're upset though the empress being in reverse is really feeling that um, codependent and clingy or that's Aries type of energy here with the Empress and I kind of feel like 
she may not be where she wants to be um maybe lacking something here maybe doesn't have the money just yet to be in that empress or has something going on here with the page of swords somebody's watching maybe you have a channel maybe you are a tarot reader and this person doesn't doesn't like that about you yeah they want to come in here uh, for a good time not a long time that's why you're not taking them back you're walking away from this person yeah there was adultery here when it came to this love union no direction you didn't feel like this was home at all you have a positive change here regeneration regenerized was this page of wands this is kind of news, I feel like somebody looking at something here. Some news is coming forward, a victory here. But somebody may not be standing up for somebody or for what they believe in here. They're not waiting for something. Mm. Seven of Swords in reverse. Somebody got caught. <laughs> Maybe confessed here that they put you in a competition. They're coming out of that sadness or that grief where it didn't really even bother them that they did this to you. They're going to move forward here. Some acceptance to change. There's a King of Pentacles coming in. You may not see this coming. This may be a rebirth or something that needs to end. Or this was an ending of a marriage. Maybe you were married to this person at one point. They're not healed here at all with the Hermit in reverse. They may even feel rejected by you or you do reject them, maybe they're lonely, they're in their head, they just want to be happy, they may be working and that makes them happy, but they seem to be having some bad luck. And there's a Queen of Swords in reverse, so somebody that's kind of dangerous, deceitful and malicious. And this cycle hasn't closed out for this person. They do want to do the offer and you or this person is coming out of um, betrayal here maybe somebody was greedy and you you're healing yourself about this you don't want to have anybody that has a third party here with the third party card in reverse there may be a queen of pentacles that's maybe you you might be the empress well you are the empress and you may be coming out in reverse here uh, with the queen of pentacles maybe having some unhealthy behaviors of some kind. When it comes to this King of Cups in reverse, and this King of Cups in reverse, you may be anxious, selfish, emotionally manip manipulative. They don't have any patience. And the Chariot in reverse is they're, they're stuck in the past anyway. And they're not moving at all now with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, they're bored, they're pessimistic here. And we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And the Seven of Pentacles is maybe lacking some type of awareness about some financial problems or they're lacking finances here. Maybe they had a financial um investment and now they're losing money in it they're feeling like a wounded warrior here but they're still moving forward despite all the challenges or this is you somebody wants to come forward they have the eight of wands in reverse and <clears throat> that could be a delay or maybe they weren't prepared for you and the magician in the reverse they may have they might be a cheater and they're not happy about this they want their Ten of Pentacles, maybe with you. And they're worried that you're going to make the wrong judgment call when it comes to them and their love because they see you as wish fulfillment here. 
And with the Eight of Cups in reverse, I feel like they fear the change. They may have low self-esteem and feel like you, they're not enough for you. Or, yeah, but there's no requited love here. There's no equality here. So I kind of feel like you're just going to let this person go. This isn't somebody you want to be around or be with. So I, it looks like they have a few friends and that might be why there's a problem here. So well, let's clarify what we have on the table. The emperor, please. Why is the emperor here? Yeah, he's coming out of maybe some betrayal. This may be you, Aries. Let's see here. Yeah, you may um, be a star or have a channel or a platform of some type, maybe public recognition. Somebody sees you as a star. What's this uh, unavailable card here, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, somebody's walking away. They, they're not available, maybe emotionally not available or financially not available, feeling that shame, walk of shame here. Yeah, they're sad or grieving over something here. What's this Ace of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, there's no love here. They don't want to have any offer. They don't want to give an offer right now. Maybe they don't have anyone to give their love to right now. Somebody's healing. This high priestess is healing. Maybe is overextended here. And with the six of swords in reverse, there might be stuck in the past. Unable to move forward. This could be this high priestess, or this is this emperor who uh, wants to be with a high priestess who can see right through everything. Yeah, they want to be free. They don't have the strength right now. Yeah, they're not moving forward. Because usually this could be a proposal, um, progressing, um, uh, moving forward, they're, and, and they're not doing any of those things. It's in reverse. And with the Eight of Wands in reverse, it's going to be uh, delays. They're not prepared for you. What's this third party in reverse? Yeah, there was no equal give and take to this third party. What's the Six of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, Page of Swords in reverse. They played a lot of mind games and stuff. They... Uh, I feel like they played on their confidence, maybe made them feel less than, like they were so much better. Oh, what's on the floor? This one could be pretty important. Oh, it's a twofer. Hang on, guys. Uh, there we go. All right, we have the King of Swords. They're not waiting. Uh, somebody's impulsively coming forward here. And they're not confused anymore. They're trying to maybe adapt to something here. Or and this is the Two of Pentacles. All right, they're trying to adapt to something maybe. They're not sure, do I stay, do I go? I feel like even though this person Just not coming forward. Now somebody else might come in here. <laughs> yeah, you're not sure which judgment call to take. And we have the Five of Swords in reverse. And I kind of feel like there's regret maybe wanting to reconcile here. Seven of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this is not trusting somebody here. Maybe having some self-doubt about this. What's this Five of Pentacles here? Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords in reverse. Oh, somebody wants to give up. Nine of Wands in reverse. There's challenges coming here and somebody just wants to give up. 
um, they're losing money or something here. What's this Nine of Swords in reverse? Nine of Swords in reverse. This person learned to cope here. And then it's not working though. Somebody had adultery or overindulgence in something here. What's the Nine of Cups here? They're independent. Ace of Wands. They may be having an epiphany or an idea about something here. What is this? Five of Wands. That they were put in a competition or there's chaos and conflict all the time. Yeah, somebody's not healed here. They're not healed in order to come in for this. Yeah, there might be some juggling here. Any juggling here? What's the Two of Pentacles? Yeah, Queen of Cups in reverse. So maybe upset, maybe immature, maybe easily manipulated. Mm, Ten of Pentacles is in the reverse if you go with this King of Swords, it looks like. You may lose your whole fortune. Yeah. Betrayal. So be careful who you choose here. You're going to have a couple people come in and you're going to have to realize who is who here. This emperor may be just showing up here. He's here already. He's gone through some betrayal of his own. He's wishing upon a star. So maybe he's manifested you or prayed to have you. And... Maybe you weren't available and you had to walk away from somebody and you're grieving. You may not have love in, or any offers at this time. You may be healing and feeling overextended and Six of Swords is um, could be stuck in the past or you're thinking about the past. Maybe maybe just knowing there's challenges coming forward here for you you may feel you want to be free from something here not having the courage to move forward but I feel like this is this emperor I feel like this is this emperor he's not able to move forward maybe doesn't have that person anymore because the kid is not theirs there's no required love or yeah, there's no equal give and take. It's unrequited. And the Page of Swords, I mean, there is a lot of mind games and things going on. So is this King King of Swords cutting somebody out here? Or they're just not... With the Seven of Cups in reverse, there might be an end of illusions here. There, there's no more confusion happening here. They don't want to wait. They're being impulsive and coming in to fight for this. So this person here might be a new person. And this person here may be somebody you know. Yeah. These could be other people in the mix. Not wanting you to make the right judgment call here because your judgment here is on the fence. And then you've got people trying to come in to maybe tell you what you need to do. You've got the Emperor, there's the King of Wands, and there's the King of Swords. So take however it resonates whether these are other people that are in your life or if this is the emperor just showing up in his different um kings because uh, the king of swords they they try to be fair right a good leader they're yeah There's no confusion here, though. Judgment. Let's 
somebody's not trusting. Somebody doesn't trust this when it comes to should I go or should I stay? Wants to give up. It's not working. Just left out in the cold. Remorse. Adultery. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You may have to let both of these people go if there's more than one that comes in for you. Because if there's an Emperor coming in for you, Aries, and you have the King of Swords and the King of Wands here, um, and you are this Empress in reverse that we saw earlier, I feel like... Um, with that, I it feels like it's going to be a toss-up between the two. And just remember, you don't have to do either one of them. Because somebody here reminds somebody of someone else that they dealt with already, maybe. And that could be this as well. And they don't, they, they were put in a competition. Somebody's not healed here. So... Yeah, you're going to have to make a choice between maybe more than two even. There could be more people to follow afterwards. You may be hardly sought after. But there is a man holding a heart here. You're just going to have to figure out who it is that you need to walk away from. Who it is that may be already in a marriage already. And who it is that you need to close out a cycle with here. Because you are having some indecisions here about a caring connection. And if the contract is marriage, this could be somebody waiting to end this contract by walking away. Ending out the cycle completely with the world here. But they're having a little bit of indecision here. They may have manifested something here. And they may be worried about deceit. They're going to try to be patient to get this victory. So it's do I stay home and water my own grass? Or do I go and look for greener pastures? So you're going to have to decide Aries if you are a masculine on what you're going to do and who you're going to do this with and if you are the feminine on this you're going to have to choose between a few different offers here on you're going to have to be patient maybe not make a decision right away maybe think on it take a couple days you may need to know you may realize actually who you need to walk away from, who's needed to end out a contract or end out a marriage here, or whether or not to get married to this man holding a coin. So, hey, you're going to be tested. You may be tested more than once, um, and you're going to have to go within and really think about this Aries on who you're going to go with because you don't want to be feeling like you are getting um, betrayed so it will only make you unhappy so definitely Aries let's get some more cards here I just want to know what we have for the love cards for Aries let's get nine cards here Ooh, engagement ring. Yeah, so I feel like somebody may want to get together with you. Cupid's arrow, karmic relationship. Holy hell. So let's have a look here. We have the chaser. So somebody's coming to chase you. You may be trying to run away from this person and their engagement ring. There's a Cupid, Cupid's arrow here and a karmic relationship. So there may be more than just the King of Wands with the Emperor. There's that King of Swords and also a King of Pentacles coming in that we saw. Somebody really likes you. Wants to get to know you. Romance is blooming. Wants to date you. We have, yeah, seduction even. Uh-oh. <laughs> is this the karmic or is this the twin flame? We have a karmic and a twin flame dynamic here with the runner chaser. Okay, so somebody may have addictions here. Uh, it could be food. It could be codependency. It could be obsession, possession, controlling. Maybe it has blocks. So, yeah, somebody wants to take you out 
for coffee and converse with you, maybe go on a date with you. <clears throat> And palm tree. Uh, stability, security, performance, growth, and growth, uh, and endurance and flexibility. So, <clears throat> my uh, throat dynamic here. Um, you may have a hard time talking to this person, or they may have a hard time uh, speaking to you. Um, worried about whatever they say, that it may come out wrong or be um, taken the wrong way. You're looking for sp um, stability here. Be careful of the seduction here. I kind of feel like this is going to be very quick. There's going to be an engagement. You're going to feel like you're falling in love. You're going to have triggers. It's going to feel like a karmic relationship, despite the fact that this person likes you. They may just want to get you in bed. They may even have a sex addiction, or they're addicted to coffee, <laughs> or they're addicted to... <clears throat> the codependency and all that other jazz. But they do want to date you. And they're going to come across as if they are stable. So let's get one more. And take the one on the bottom. Golden mirror. Yeah, this may be... Somebody might be a narcissist here. One-sided relationship love bombing. So be careful of that because this may be a karmic here. There might be a twin flame and a karmic here because you may welcome you may feel like this person is the one they may be your twin flame here and it's going to go so quickly you may be triggered but you know what this person might still be okay i want to is this your person coming through is this the person you're meant to be with tell me more if this is the person you're meant to be with. Dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out, coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. So you're going to know. I feel like that is that um, high priestess energy here. You're going to know. Things are going to come to light. You're going to adapt. You're going to take off the sunglasses. Ah, oh, somebody might be stalking, gaslighting. Yeah, so this might be more than one person here. Yeah, they may be really watching you, um, not wanting you to get away. This might be that runner chaser dynamic here. And it might be coming to the very last stages of the cycle where it's coming home i feel like you've done all the other bullshit with this person maybe you've been just a friend for years and years and years they may be your twin flame but you never really unite maybe you just stay friends and now it's to a point where you want to be with this person they want to be with you but somebody runs somebody chases and then it flips so but with the engagement ring here i feel like this might be the end of this twin flame chaser runner dynamic where they've gotten to the home run type of ending where this is going to feel like out of the park kind of relationship i just looked up 555 on the clock so I'm going to leave it there, Aries. You are going to have to really use your intuition. Maybe talk to spirit, your spirit guides, angels, ancestors, um, or whoever you connect with, as long as it is in the um, light, not the dark. So come out of the dark and into the light. Hello. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be something that you're going to have to work through to figure out who is who in your relationship here so all right good luck with figuring out your and you are being tested here maybe even more than once maybe up to three or four times it even could be more than that so 
Um, it's only lessons that are going to help you grow and sure they may hurt and hurt hard sometimes but the reason it hurts so much is so you learn it and you don't go back down that path again and have to relearn it so you're able to ascend and move forward and get your life on track to where you really want it and this is going to have to be what do I want in a relationship? What do I want right now? What am I willing to deal with? What am I willing to live with? And what am I not? And boundaries have to be in place. And you're going to really have to use your intuition to see things. I feel like whoever I'm talking to, uh, Aries, your person is feeling that feeling of how do I put that um, I feel like your person is is really um, maybe really like you really like you they might be the seductress they may want to seduce you <laughs> And it could be, too, that they may have some addiction. And it could be drugs. It could be food. It could be whatever. Stress eating. <laughs> There's so many different things they could be addicted to. And like I said, they could just be codependent. Maybe just have a problem with restraining themselves from speaking or restraining themselves from moving forward or... You know, I mean, you're going to know what resonates for you. I'm just reading what I get in the cards. So <laughs> anyways, please like, share and subscribe. Give me that thumbs up if you like my readings and we will see you all next time. All right. Later.